Okay, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about loading a shotgun. This is something that I am absolutely not an expert on, something I've been trying to work on a little bit. As you can see, I've got some load 2 type carriers from TACCOM. Uh, I've got them just mounted with a, a tech lock in the back. And I've been out here practicing. Uh, I'll kind of show you how I'm doing it. Again, I'm, I'm far from an expert. I just wanted to show you some of the, the practice side of it. But well, what I like about this technique is I think the shotgun is one of the easiest things to just fling lead with, but at the same time it can be difficult to truly master. And getting it loaded quickly is really one of the most difficult things with the shotgun. You know, if you're using a tube-fed shotgun, this is Remington Versamax, and it's the competition tactical version. You know, you can't just put a magazine in like an AR or some of the magazine-fed style shotguns. So uh, feeding this eight-round tube and doing it quickly can take some time. Uh, there's multiple ways to do it. Uh, one of the a little bit older but still popular methods is using a holder where you can grab multiple shells at a time and then you feed them one at a time from your hand. Uh, another popular method is the load two where you're pulling out two at a time and then these two go into the shotgun together which I'll show you in just a minute and then some of the guys that practice even more can do a load four where their holders are a little closer together and they're actually grabbing four at a time two go in, reset, two more go in. Uh, so that's even faster. Definitely takes a little more coordination. I'm not quite to the point where I can do the load four, so I'm still kind of sticking with the load two. Even though with my relative inexperience with the load two, I still think I can get this shotgun reloaded fairly quickly. Um, so before I show it, obviously for practice, you can do this with dummy rounds. I've done that quite a bit. I'm out at the range today, so this is live ammo. Uh, I've spent some time just practicing having the gun up, coming down, and loading six to eight rounds, and then coming back up like I was going to shoot. Another good way to practice the loading, if you want to actually include some live fire, but a lot of practice. For that, what you can do is you can load two rounds in the gun, so you've got one in the chamber, one in the magazine. You come up on target, you fire that first round, it'll load into the chamber, the one from the magazine, so it's ready to fire again. Then you can practice loading six, eight, however many your shotgun holds, and then come back up on target and fire one more round. What that does is that gives you the practice of firing that first round, gives you lots of loading practice, loading up a full tube, and then coming back up on target and firing that last round. So you're still getting that live fire practice where you know you fire one, hopefully on target, load eight rounds, this one will hold eight, and then come back up on target and kind of see how quickly you can recover and get back on target. That works really well if you want to get some live fire practice, but you want to get as much loading practice as possible it gives you a little bit of live, lots of loading, and at the end of the day, you're not necessarily shooting a lot of ammo. So that can be great if you have just a box of ammo or maybe two boxes of birdshot and you want to practice. Uh, obviously, if you have more ammo or you want a more specific practice that maybe goes towards knocking down steel, hitting clay pigeons, or something like that that you're practicing for three gun, then by all means, load up the tube, fire, you know, eight rounds, seven rounds, load the tube back up, continue engaging targets. So you can certainly do that if you have the ammo or if you want to practice a certain course. Um, but if you want to get the most practice with the least amount of rounds just to get that repetition, um, I suggest loading two, shoot one, load eight, shoot one, and then unload the gun and start over. That'll give, really give you a lot of repetition. All right, so in the shooting, you'll notice that there's a couple ways to load the shotgun, either right hand, left hand, a couple ways to hold it as you load. So my preferred method, the easiest one for me is what you're seeing, where I come up on top of my right shoulder, I'm able to easily see where the rounds are going, and I'm able to grab 
can come right here and load. So pretty easy. This is the most comfortable for me. Um, also used to using the shotgun for work and needing a sling for it, needing to be able to get my hands free and uh, do something else, come back to the shotgun if necessary. So um, it does limit the other method a little bit, which is if you want to do left hand. Uh, now I've practiced this a little bit because I do like using my weak hand for the reload, um, but I do have a harder time using it with the uh, sling attached. And then it's just for me loading the shotgun with the left hand is a little less convenient. Um, so I'll show you without the sling attached. So this is more common in like a three gun setting where you're not using a sling. So what you can do is basically come up underneath your, your armpit and that helps you lock that gun in place. This gun is not gonna move very easily. It's very secure to have it locked in your armpit, supported with your right hand. Then you just come out with your left. The advantage with this is it's right here. The distance from my pouch to the shotgun is very close. Uh, for me, it's also, I'm holding it just high enough that I can get all the way around my belt. I can get the rounds out here and I can float it in as well. That left hand load does require a little bit of movement to come all the way down here and load. That shotgun's moving more, whereas for me, just coming like this, there's a lot less movement of that shotgun to come here and then back up on target. So, that's my preferred, partially because I'm more coordinated with the right, also because of the sling. Um, but you can also, if this isn't where you want to be, if you want to keep that strong hand free, which you're, either way, you're not really keeping your strong hand free because when you do this, that strong hand's tied up. You're not going to be able to get a, a secondary or a, a sidearm at that point. So those are the two kind of main loading methods for this load too. All right guys, so that was kind of a demonstration of loading two at a time in the shotgun. Again, this one is a Remington Versamax Competition Tactical. I am gonna do another video kind of on a review of this. Um, I know you guys have seen this in videos before if you've been watching my channel, but I haven't really done a review now that I've had it for a while. I did actually have to send it back to Remington once, so I will tell you about that in the next video. If you guys have anything that you think works faster or more efficient or easier than loading two at a time off of the belt like this, let me know. Uh, you can post in the comments below. So I would also be interested if any of you guys have tips on how to learn to transition from the two at a time to four at a time, what makes that easier or more of a smooth transition. So for now, that's it. If you have any feedback or you'd like to kind of point me in the direction to make my reloads even better, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.